guys, it's Ryan. Welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ryan. I am a full-time working mom. I have an eight-month-old son, and my husband and I live here with my son in the suburbs of Chicago. Um, today, I'm going to take you along for a grocery haul as well as a meal plan. Uh, today is a little bit different. You, typically, I do my own grocery shopping and then show you guys the haul. Um, I actually am a little bit under the weather, so I have my husband grocery shop for me today. So we'll see what surprises might be in store or things that I might not have picked up or different brands or something. I actually think it's always fun to see what he ends up with at the store. And we've actually found some things we love because he does the shopping and picks up something different than I would have. And we end up liking that brand or that type of thing better. So I'm excited to see if we get any finds like that today. Um, I also noticed my meal plan did not come home from the store. So I quickly threw that back together and hopefully I have um, replicated what I had planned on making this week pretty well. So let me go ahead and show you guys the groceries as well as the meal plan. Okay guys, here's the produce for this week. I, I find this hilarious. Send your husband to the grocery store and you get less produce than you ever do, which is completely not true. This is just what happened to be on our list this week, but you, you guys know typically we have a ton of produce, so it's just kind of funny that husband goes to the store and we end up with less produce than ever. Um, I had bananas on the list. We ended up with a lot of bananas. Maybe this is a sign that he wants me to make some banana bread this week because there's frankly no way we're going to get through all those bananas, but we'll use the leftovers for banana bread and smoothies, so they will certainly not go to waste. Um, as you guys know, we grabbed oranges and apples. These are staple fruits in this house, so wanted to have those. Um, I had him grab a few hearts of romaine. We're going to have um, salad on the side for a couple dinners this week, and then I'm going to have salad for lunch. So romaine for that, as well as some bell peppers to just cut up and go in the salads. And then I had him grab just for easy sides this week some steamed broccoli and steamed corn. So we'll have that um, alongside a couple dinners this week. So I'll go ahead and get this put away and then bring out whatever's next. Okay guys, next up is the dairy and meat products. Let's go ahead and get started in the meat arena. Um, one night this week we are going to have burgers on the grill. Um, I just grabbed some of these Beyond Burger patties for myself. We have some um, ground beef in the freezer that my husband will use. Um, for lunch meat, he grabbed, it looks like, some roast beef here for himself this week. And then one of the recipes I'm cooking this week is... Um, a chicken kind of roast pan dinner so he grabbed some bone-in chicken breast for me for that and then this this was not on the list this is apparently some smoked chicken sausage it actually looks good but um, I didn't have it in the meal plan so we're gonna have to probably the week after this um, come up with some um, chicken sausage recipe to make um, we needed some mozzarella cheese for a pizza roll recipe I'm trying this week um, I had asked him for a block of um, aged sharp cheddar, and I got some Wisconsin mild cheddar. This should probably still be good, so I'm. it wouldn't have been what I picked up, but it'll be fine. Uh, and then he grabbed a bunch of my Chobani low-sugar yogurts, as you guys know. I eat these every morning for breakfast, and it looks like he just grabbed um, some mango, lemon, blueberry, another mango, a peach, and a strawberry. Strawberry is definitely my least favorite of all of the flavors they make, but only one, so that's fine. Uh, and then he grabbed some cottage cheese. I like to put this on the salads that I make for lunch just to add a little bit more protein and bulk it up a little bit. He grabbed some milk and orange juice for himself. He drinks both of those every week, so we grab those every week as well as some eggs, which are on the list most weeks, and um, some butter I had on the list. I do see he grabbed half sticks, which I frankly can't stand, um, but they will be totally fine. They will work in recipes, so I, I it's fine. <laughs> it's all fine. I didn't have to go and to the grocery store, and that's all that matters. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this put away, and then I will show you guys what's next. Okay, last but not least, we have all the carbs. <laughs> Just all the carbs. Um, I do, I think this is hilarious, and this, again, is not my husband's fault. This is just the way the list was this week. 
but I find it hilarious that we have like twice as many carbs as we normally do and half as much produce as we normally do. And again, this is just the way the grocery list fell. If I had gone this week, it would have been the same thing, but it is just funny that this was the week my husband did the shopping and this is what ended up happening. So to get started on the carb section, um, we have some brioche hot dog buns. Um, I did not have these on the list, so I have to assume these are meant to go with the chicken sausages that he bought. Um, and I'm also a little surprised at his brioche bun choice. I don't know if he meant to, to do that. They'll be delicious. I will love them. I don't know that he would like them as much. But anyway, um, we also got some brioche hamburger buns. Again, these look delicious. I don't know if he intended to get the kind of sweeter variety, but they will work great with the burgers. Um, I had him grab chips for his lunches. He grabbed the baked Lay's barbecue flavor. Um, I don't know if we've tried those. We've been on a campaign to try like every barbecue chip available and I'm not sure we have tried those. So I'm looking forward to those. We grabbed, he grabbed some of the Lewis's Nutty Oat Half Loaf. This is the bread we use um, for sandwiches. And then some Bob Evans mashed potatoes. I'm making a buffalo chicken recipe this week and I thought mashed potatoes, excuse the cat meowing, uh, mashed potatoes would go well with that and it's an easy, simple side and we both like it. So grab some of those. Um, I had him grab some frozen pizza crust. I am making a pizza roll recipe I mentioned earlier and it calls for a um, frozen, or excuse me, refrigerated pizza crust. So grab one of those. Um, I'm running low on all-purpose flour for baking. You can just never have enough of this. So he grabbed one of those for me. And then he grabbed a thing of tarragon for me that goes in the buffalo chicken recipe I was talking about, and I actually don't have any dried tarragon, so grabbed one of those. Um, I grabbed some baking soda. I actually have a um, an enamel pan that has some burned stuff on the bottom, and I just Googled how to get it out, and it suggested you boil baking soda in the bottom, and then it will come out. Uh, I'm skeptical, but I'm willing to try it because I don't use that pan and I would love to. It's a nice um, pan my mom actually got me for Christmas, so I'd love to be able to use it again. So I'm um, going to give that a try. I'll let you guys know if it works or not. Um, I also had him grab some dried cranberries. I eat these with um, some sort of nut in my yogurt every morning and I was out, so stacked up on those. I had him grab some chewy granola bars. These go in his lunch every day. And then last but very not least, um, we grabbed some gallon freezer bags as well as quart freezer bags. We were out of both, so um, and we use these all the time, so I had him stock up. Um, I never buy the ones with the slider, so I'm curious to see if I like those better. And I actually would also be interested to know if they're more expensive, because then if I like them better, it's kind of a moot point, because I'd buy the cheaper ones. Um, anyway, all right, well, that was the fun husband does my grocery shopping this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and let me go ahead and show you guys the meal plan for the week. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that grocery haul. I wanted to go ahead and show you our meal plan for this week. Um, this week I'm t cooking out of the Taste of Home. It's a fall, I guess you could call it a magazine, but it's a little bit more than their normal weekly magazine. It's like a fall special. And I'm cooking out of that this week, so some of these dinners and the baking I'm going to be doing is from that. Um, Saturday of this week, we're going to have burgers on the grill as well as some frozen fries and frozen corn. Um, my husband and I love burgers, and the weather's starting to turn here in Chicago, so I figure get in one last grilling session before there's three feet of snow on the ground, and we can't do it anymore. Um, on Sunday, I'm going to try a recipe for pizza rolls. It's from that Taste of Home Fall magazine I mentioned, and it's actually the cover recipe. My husband actually picked up the magazine, um, if you saw several grocery hauls ago, he pointed it out in the aisle um, at a grocery store we were at, and the reason I think he pointed it out was this pizza roll recipe, so hopefully it's as good as we both think it is. Uh, I'm also going to be making a maple chicken and acorn squash bake from that Taste of Home magazine. Tuesday we're just going to do some leftovers. Uh, Wednesday we're going to have um, a buffalo chicken recipe from that Taste of Home magazine. My husband and I both love buffalo chicken, so hopefully that's good. And I'm just going to serve those um, refrigerated mashed potatoes and frozen broccoli alongside of that. And then on Thursday my husband's working late, so I'm just going to send him with some leftovers and I'm going to eat some leftovers. And then on Friday, um, it's always pizza night for us. Typically we'll just do a frozen pizza, but we might actually order from um, Pequod's, which is one of our favorite pizza places here in Chicago. 
And then for baking this week, I'm going to make a ginger doodle cookie recipe, and the reason, that's also from that Taste of Home Fall magazine, the reason I chose that is because we actually have some um, apple cinnamon apple crisp ice cream from a local ice cream shop and I thought that would actually make delicious ice cream sandwiches with g these ginger doodle cookies. So anyway, um, if you guys want to see all of these uh, meals turned into recipes, stay tuned for my what's for dinner coming up this Wednesday. If you guys like this grocery haul and want to see more from me, please go ahead and subscribe um, down below. I look forward to seeing you guys in another video. Bye!